Start with the markets, you have to, and the wild reversal. Market watcher Michelle McKillen is with us. So tell me, what was that all about? Well, a couple things, Stuart. I think the market is now pricing in that 10% additional tariffs really wouldn't be the end of the world. Because let's face it, oh, companies... the reversal. That's why it would reverse, right, right. it's not the I end of the world. Let's face it. Like, companies are smart. They're already moving their supply chains. You saw that. You saw massive um, investment in Vietnam in the first part of this year, as well as Mexico. And actually, China is no longer our largest trading partner. It's actually Mexico. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think we're all readjusting that, hmm, probably isn't going to be that bad. And secondly, August tends to be a pretty volatile month. People are on vacation. Traders are on holiday. So I'm not really that surprised. Now, yesterday, everybody was running into Treasury securities. They wanted the yield and they wanted the security, the safety. Right. Huh. This morning, the yield is 1.73%. Right. Why is it not a safe haven, yield-bearing investment now? Look at it. It's gone to 175. Well, I still think it is. I mean, 1.75 on the 10-year. I mean, that's that's crazy, Stuart. We well, were almost up to three. Reversal? I don't get it. I think it's the volume, right? You're, you have a lot of people on vacation. I think also we saw such a massive move yesterday. It was yesterday. a panic. It was, it was, it was a, a panic move It was a move baby to panic. Treasuries. A baby panic. Come on. A move like that? <laughs> 170 to 159? And all the way back up again to 175? I wouldn't be surprised if you're saying it again. Say it again. Is that your forecast, Michelle? <laughs> don't, don't say My that. My forecast is I think August is probably going to be volatile. August tends to be volatile, but I think you'll see new highs at the end of the year. Uh, repeat that. You'll see new highs you on the stocks. You'll see new highs on the stocks at the end of the year. Okay. Yes. Gold and Bitcoin both had a nice rally, not so much today. Do you guys, uh, you use gold as a safe haven? or, or bit, More to the point, <laughs> Bitcoin. Do you touch Bitcoin? Come on, I think you can answer that. No, no I don't <laughs> I touch don't Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think Bitcoin's interesting, and for investors that want to get into Bitcoin, they need to know that their investment could absolutely go to zero, so bear that in mind. Gold, yes, we do invest in gold. We actually invest in a broad basket of commodities, so it's just not gold. The thing with commodities is you need them. They're a nice hedge when markets go down, like you saw this week, but they don't pay a dividend. So I definitely wouldn't be plowing a ton of money into gold right now. Neither would I. <laughs> Although I Same like page. those coins for the grandchildren. Yes, you know, bury can... them in the backyard. That's my but line. To your point, yeah. you know, it is opposite day, right? Oil up 3%, yeah. gold off some 15 bucks, yeah. Treasury, 10-year Treasury up to 175, complete flip-flop. Reversal day. Yes. So the question really stands, and we'll ask it again. What was that all about? Uh, but Michelle answered it, and we'll go with it's that. It's August. Do you tend to see these crazy moves? What and there are better signs for the global economy. China trade did better. Also, we got better readings from France. That's encouraging that the better world is not readings. collapsing. Better readings from France. I know. That'll turn us around. <laughs> I think so. Oh, that's all right. Put that flag out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, let's move on. Uh,